How y'all doing? This is Nathaniel Swopes of Swopes Set, and today I want to talk about uh, Kevin Samuels. Uh, this month has marked his one year of his death, and this, this month has also included his birthday. So I have a belated birthday to the great Kevin Samuels. I um, want to thank Kevin Samuels for being a great mentor to a lot of young black men, including myself. Uh, how I found out about Kevin Samuels, um, I was at a young lady's house, and she was talking about you know, we were trying, you know, asking each other questions, like trying to get in, get to know each other. And she was just like, I really don't like dudes that listen to Kevin Samuels. I was like, who is Kevin Samuels? She's like, you don't know who he is? I'm like, no, I really don't. You know, I really, I don't really watch uh, YouTube like that. And, um, you know, she had showed me that he was on YouTube, showed me his YouTube page. And, and from there, I just started diving in and watching it. Of course, I was seeing all the content of him. Uh, you know, improving the women and stuff like that. And then I went back because uh, he would tell some of the women that I've been critiquing men for like three years. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of women would be like, why you don't critique men like you critique the women? So I would go, I went back and watched all his videos of how he critiqued men. And, you know, it was like a shot to, you know, how he kind of told men to stop being lazy, uh, get a second job if you are broke. Don't compare, don't talk to me about being broke get another job. And, you know, since I've listened to Kevin Samuels, a lot of stuff like I really didn't know about or really didn't do, you know, in the sense that I was like being lazy. Um, I probably had like one suit in my closet and he motivated me to get more suits and dress up and dress up and dress nicer. Um, like I used to wear a lot of, I still do, but I used to wear a lot of like athletic clothes, even out to like birthday parties or something to the bar, I'm in athletic clothes. And I, I would say, since I've listened to Kevin Samuels, when I go out now, I wear dress shoes, jeans, and like a collared shirt now. Um, so I, I do dress nice, or I dress more mature since listening to Kevin Samuels. I wear, you know, more cologne. He uh, talked about a lot, a lot of the starter colognes, a lot of the basic colognes that's good for the office. Just, you know what I'm saying? No, no, no matter what you're really into, like the, uh, Aqua Day cologne and just some basic colognes to help you, you know, wear to work and wear outside. So that's I've, I've gotten a lot of compliments, you know, each and every day about how good I smell, uh, how nice I look. I've showed up to one bar, uh, you know, jeans, dress shoes, a nice sweater, hat, and a nice coat. And the owner of the bar uh, was like, man, who are you, man? You look really nice and I was like, man, I'm just a regular dude, but, you know, just my presentation was great. So with your, having your presentation, my presentation better. I've gotten more respect or I've gotten more people talking to me. And, you know, even families like, man, you know, Nate always, it, you know, it was only like a year. And I was just in a they, and family would be like, well, Nate always dressing Nate nice or Nate always smells great. So it really changed the way people talked to me and, and people respected me. And that was because of listening to Kevin Samuels. I didn't really have that mentorship about uh, the way I dress or the way I smell. I really didn't, you know, again, the shower, I wasn't really, I wear some clothes sometimes, but I never really knew which clothes to get or which ones to, uh, you know what I'm saying, purchase, I guess, because I would talk to, if, first, if a guy smelled good, I'm like, man, what cologne is that? I'll just get that, but. You know, uh, Kevin Samuels made made me kind of do more of an investment to uh, to understand what's uh, universally um, colognes that smell really good and, and universally was great colognes to get, and just about having um, you know suits and just dressing nice, wearing more jeans and stop wearing jogging pants. And another big thing was the dress shoes. Um, you know, I knew to get dress shoes. I didn't really know about the type of dress shoes, and he had a video about the five different types of dress shoes. You know, he even when he was critiquing me, he was just like, you know, where are your, your, your muck straps and where are your wingtips and why are you not wearing these type of shoes? And honestly, I, I just didn't know. Like, I knew to wear dress shoes. I didn't know the different types of dress shoes, right? So I, um, he was like, you know, you need to get your musket straps, you need to get your wingtips. And he was just like, these types of dress shoes you need to have in your closet. And, you know, I bought those different types. So now I have the, um, you know, it's like three different type of dress shoes. There's two other pair of, um, like, other nice shoes you should get, like, as far as, like, a nice gym shoe, nice professional gym shoe. And so, um, you know, I have those. And, 
you know, it got me just more just uh, not just getting like right, like even for the winter, like not just regular boots, but getting a nice dress boot um, as well. So the, and, I, and it was crazy because, you know, my father was kind of in and out my life. Like he was there, but sometimes he wasn't there and he didn't, to be honest, I didn't, he didn't really give me that understanding of like what type of dress shoes to buy. And, I, and the type of guys, I would start to notice the type of guys that wore different type of dress shoes. And, you know, I would talk to them about their life. And a lot of times they had a great male mentor mentor, or they had their father in their life. They kind of told them about those things. So, And I don't want, I'm not necessarily like blaming my father. Maybe my father didn't know. And, you know, Kevin Samuels had a video about what your father should have taught you. And what, what he, helped, you know, kind of helped me to understand is how bad it was a lot of men with their mentorship and understanding how to be a man to dress like a man or what to wear, colognes and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of us, me and my age, didn't get great mentorship from our fathers because our fathers didn't have great mentorship. So he kind of, uh, Kevin Sam kind of helped me understand like how bad it is uh, uh, because so many men have had fathers in their life. I know my father, he didn't have his father in his life. So a lot of the things as a man that he was taught or didn't teach, he didn't teach me, not, not necessarily because he didn't want to, but he didn't teach me those things because he probably didn't know. And, st and even as an older man, he probably still doesn't know. So, it, you know, it kind of helped me to, Kevin Sam kind of helped me to understand how bad it is in the black community with men, with men teaching other men how to be men. Like, they only teach you from what they saw, what they understand as a man. If they didn't really see a man, then, they you know, they only teach you what they know. So... If they didn't really understand how to be a man, you're not going to understand how to be a man. If you really don't invest and watch like a person like Kevin Sam, you're not going to know what to teach your son. So now I know how to teach my son about uh, suits and things like that and shoes. Because I just, I just didn't know about the, that. Like that video about the five different type of dress shoes, one of the biggest videos uh, for me. Because I just really didn't understand that. And uh, now the big things with suits came out. Uh, after Kevin Samuels came out, then Steve Harvey came out with the like the different type of suits and different colors you can wear to switch them up. Like a lot of people weren't really investing in helping men get better until Kevin Samuels came out. Once Kevin Samuels came out, then a lot of people kind of started posting videos about how to dress and stuff like that. But before Kevin Samuels, there wasn't an investment as much to help men, help black men improve the way they look, the way they smell, and the way they go about themselves, and how to respect. Uh, you know, people at work and things like that. Uh, he taught and talked about how black men can respect each other. How can you respect your boss? How you can be your own boss and just to work hard. And, and like I said, since I've been listening to Kevin Sims, I, I wouldn't got a uh, second, third, fourth job. Like even before Kevin Sims, I was teaching and coaching after school. Um, I didn't necessarily work on the weekends besides coaching, but now I'm coaching. I'm running my own. I'm running my own business. Um, you know, of course, I'm teaching, and now I'm, I'm you know, I'm working security on the weekends as well. So a lot of times I'm working two jobs a day uh, or three jobs a day. Like on a Friday, I mean, I'm teaching, I'm coaching, and then after that, I'm, I'm working security overnight. So I'm working at uh, overtime because, like Kevin Samuel said, uh, nobody cares about men complaining. Stop complaining. Go get a second or third job. Stop complaining about being broke and go make more money. I don't want to hear those excuses. So... Uh, I never met Kevin Samuels. I never talked to him on the phone. I never, he, you know, I tried to email, never respond to my emails, but he was just like a online. He was like that father figure, that tough father figure, that tough grandfather figure that you just never really had. And, you know, and I thank him for what he's done in my life. And I know he's changed so many men, not only in the African-American uh, society, but he's changed so many African uh, men all over the world. And I thank him for what he did. And, it, and it's so sad that we lost him. You know, again, may he rest in peace. Um, but, you know, he changed black men all over the world. He changed black women all over the world. And when I listened to him, you know, I I really wanted to get married. Like I tried, I got engaged before and it didn't work out. But listening to Kevin Samuels, he talked so much about uh, improving the black community as far as women getting back with their baby fathers and working it out. And a lot of men, uh, you know, working out with their baby mothers and also, like, what are you waiting on? If you have if you have the successful career, you got a house and stuff like that, like, you need to get married and start a family and keep your family together. He was all about improving the black community, keeping black families together, getting black families back, back together. And 
that was just it was so amazing to see a man of that power talk about so much to, to get married and keep your family together and grow the black community because the only way the black community can continue to grow is with families and we and as a black community we need to get our families back together and uh you know like you said i i, I do i do believe him that hey, if you have a baby out here you need to marry that woman don't just give her a baby and uh you know just leave her out here or a lot of women who divorce their husbands for really no reason they need to get back with their husband they need to get back with their baby father so uh one thing, you know, after his death, I, you know, I hope that the black community can come together because that's all Kevin Samuels talked about with the black community coming together, getting back together and improving. And he would say, you know, how the, you know, the uh, kind of, you know, like the the lame guys need to fight the pookie so we can get things back together. And the, uh, kind of like the nerd with females need to fight the Keishas so, you know, we can uh, all figure this out. And come together and stop fighting each other because we're different, even though we're all black, but we're different, you know what I'm saying? Because we come from a different neighborhood or stuff like that, or we that we need to uh, get back together. So, you know, I just wanted to talk about how Kevin Samuels improved my life. He improved my life so much in just a couple months. And I hope that a lot of black men, a lot of black women go back and watch his video to keep improving their life. And I'm going to use what I learned from him to continue to teach and help other young black men and women uh, improve their lives. So again, thank you to the Godfather, Kevin Samuels. Uh, you know, I know I didn't know you, but love you, man. Thank you for what you did for me in my life. You know what I'm saying? So to everybody listening, you all have a great day.